Hello guys, uh, today I will show you about tunnel switching and why we say that it violates IEEE regulations. This is the tunnel switching. Uh, you can get closer and see the wiring. Both switches are one gang two way. This is the first switch. You can see the connection. This is my life from supply and this is my neutral from supply. So, neutral is connected to L2 of the first switch, L2 of the second switch, L2 of the third switch and L2 of the fourth switch and to the L2 of the fifth switch. So, in this wiring, the neutral is connected to the switch while IEEE regulations state that no neutral should exist in a switch. But you can see my neutral from supply is connected to L2 of the switches. Then my light from supply is connected to L1, looped to the lamp, to the other lamp. That is the connection. I will show you the circuit diagram after the demonstration. Let's try to see how the circuit works. Now, assume you are entering the tunnel and you are at the gate of the tunnel. As you enter, you need to switch on the first light and the second light so that you can get light to walk along the tunnel. After walking for some distance, when you are here, let's say the lights are spaced like 50, 100 meters, you will need to switch. You switch on the next light, at the same time you will have switched off the previous light. As you move to the third switching point, you will switch on the next light and switch off the previous light. Now, at the last point of the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, you will switch off the previous light and remain with the light adjacent to the point you are in at the end of the tunnel. You can do your work at the end of the tunnel. If it is a tunnel with bed, you will switch off the light and sleep. When you want to get out of the tunnel, you will switch on your light. When you want to walk out of the tunnel, you will need to switch on the next light. After switching on the next light, you will walk to the point where the next switching is. You will switch off the previous light, the light at the end of the tunnel, and at the same time, switch on the next light. After reaching the next switching point, you will switch off the previous light and switch on the next light as you move out of the tunnel. At this point, you have switched on the light adjacent to you at the point of the tunnel and the next light. When you reach the end of the tunnel, you switch off all the lights and walk out of the tunnel.